Well, hello guys, it's your old pal Goto Nico here today. In today's video, I am ranking Australian soft drink. So, yeah, on Tear Maker, which is a thing that I don't know if you've seen photos recently, but Katie McDonald keeps using Tear Maker for other stuff. So, the categories are haven't had, awful, average, serviceable, good, really good, and god. God is pretty much the soft trick I cannot live without, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, haven't had is Kirk's Piasto, yeah, that's how you say it, Kirk's Piasto, and 7up, never had those two flavours, heard of them, I mean, never heard of those two soft drink, but yeah, you know what I mean, I've never had them. As we move swiftly along, we have Kirk's, we have Kirk's Lemon Squires, never had that. I oh, probably should though. And Dr. Pepper, I don't know what that is. It's some um, red flavour. But... Anyway, let's move on to the soft drinks I have never had. But we'll move sweetly along. And to the next one is Sprite Zero, you know. I mean, it's okay. I've had it a few times. Not that much, to be honest. It, yeah, it's just a bit. It's a bit of a watered down version of Sprite. Not as much sugar or fizz, to be honest. So, yeah, it's something I wouldn't recommend. Same with vanilla Coke. How should I put it up? It's very vanilla. <laughs> Good one, Nick. But yeah, vanilla Coke is not great. It's uh, it's all right. It's just has a weird flavour that I don't really like. Same, I like vanilla Coke, and that's good for you. But I'm just no. There's people that really likes it, so you have to put it on average, really, for me. Serviceable Mountain Dew. I know people might be surprised to say that Mountain Dew is only serviceable, but for me, I'm just not. I, I like it. It's just a bit too. It's unique, which is I don't mind that, but it's just something I wouldn't have every day of my life. So yeah, I can't find, and you can't find it any, everywhere, to be honest. Okay, it's just not my favorite. Okay. So, as we move on, uh, the next one we'll be putting in the serviceable list will be Coke Zero. Um, it's alright, you know, it's, I mean, they've got rid of Coke Zero now, so I don't know where the no sugar Coke's gone in this list, but it doesn't seem to be one. So, Coke Zero is pretty good for the most part, but it's just a bit of a crappy flavour, to be honest. It's a bit of an alright flavour. This is the first good flavour, or is it? Is it? Not it's serviceable. Kirk's creamy and soda is very serviceable. Like it, like it a lot. Like that strawberry flavour to it. And the first and only awful one will be the, uh, orange zero sugar Coke. Just had it once and I want to try it again because it's bloody awful, you know? Just all that Coke caffeine mixed with a bit of orange flavour, like orange Fanta flavour, which I don't really like to be honest. It's quite disgusting and wouldn't have it again, so yeah, Coke Zero Coke I mean Coke Orange Zero could get in the bin. Another service of one here is Solo. You know, Solo isn't my favourite drink. It's I thought it was like lemonade, but it wasn't. And it's alright. I used to get it at KFC a lot, but now I don't get it anymore. So it's just I'm not a fa I'm not a fan of Solo anymore. It's just it's alright. I would have it occasionally. If I had to, but just not really a fan. Next on average is Diet Pepsi. Very similar reasons to, you know, fair, Diet Pepsi is it's just a, a little bit of a less caffeine, sugar type of Pepsi, which is good, I guess. But I've only had it once, so oh well. I've had this more than once, so Diet Coke. Diet Coke is very good. Is it good though, for you guys? I don't know, but it's good for me. And I like—I used to have it a lot back a couple of years ago. Now I don't really have it anymore. Fanta, Fanta isn't one of my first old drinks. By no means it isn't, but Fanta is really, really good. Orange flavor to it. I prefer the raspberry flavor, but oh well. Same with Sunkist. Very similar to the reasons for Fanta. Really good. Used to have it a lot at the footy but when I was younger, like maybe nine, ten, eleven, but. Not really anymore, to be honest. I just got, kind of got sick of it after a while. 
and start off. And my orange flavor isn't my favorite flavor for anything. It's raspberry. Okay, maybe I could have put the Kirk's creamy soda a bit high if it's got a bit of a raspberry flavor to it. But I didn't. So it's Fanta. If the raspberry Fanta was here, I would have rated it a lot higher, but it isn't on this list. So just have to make do with the normal Fanta, which is orange. This is the first really good one. It's Sprite. And my god, is this a good soft drink. You can get this anywhere, and it tastes bloody brilliant. So, I would recommend trying this while I like it. Just love the flavour to it, I love the cold vibe. It's just really cold, it's just in a can, you know. Get, fuck, stuff getting it in a bottle. Get it in a can, like a real man. Lemonade. Lemonade's more traditional, because Schweppes, I don't know how you pronounce it, but yeah, that long company that's been going on for so many years, for about a century now. It's just great lemonade. It's so traditional lemonade. Anyone could have it. It's probably the most... So, it's probably the soft drink I've had, had the most, to be honest. Just love it. Love the fizz. I don't think the lemonade fizzes as much as Sprite, okay? And the lemonade is a bit of an all-round. I can try it anytime. Here we go, Pepsi. This is the Pepsi. This is just Pepsi. Now, sorry guys, I meant this, I put the wrong one. I accidentally put Pepsi instead of Pepsi Max. That should have been Pepsi Max, okay? So I'm sorry guys, it's Pepsi. Okay, but just pretend it's Pepsi Max because I forgot what it was at the time. Pepsi Max is really, really good, but I just think that it's lacking the caffeine of the Pepsi. This is going to be really tough and controversial. I put Coke at really good. Please don't hate me. Coke is really, really good. But it's probably the most iconic soft drink in Australia. But the thing is, there's something about it that I just hold it off by from being god tier. I god tier. And that's why I think. And that's why I think the god tier goes to Pepsi. Oh, something's happened to my screen, but oh well. Anyway, so Pepsi is the god tier for me. Why? It's got a lot more caffeine, very fizzy, and just love it with anything, really. Love it all the time. And it's pretty much why I put it in the god tier. It's probably the one soft drink I cannot live without, as I stated earlier. All the others, I can maybe survive, but not Pepsi. It's, I know it's not as big as Coke in Australia, and it's bigger in the US, obviously. But I love Pepsi. It's just brilliant. If it wasn't for KFC, I wouldn't have Pepsi that much, to be honest. Thanks to KFC, I wouldn't like Pepsi as much. So a bit of KFC has helped getting a boxed meal or something with Pepsi. It just goes by my day, you know? And that's why I think it goes in the god tier. Sorry, guys. Hopefully the recording isn't as crap. Isn't that crap, but oh well. And hopefully you enjoy it. So cheers.